Hey guys, welcome back to Kristen's Dilemma. Um, today I'm just at home getting ready to go to work. I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys uh, my lunch box. So this is my lunch bag. I can't remember the name of the company that makes these, but I thought they were super cute. It's some like Hawaiian paper fabric because the I don't you can't really tell um, just in the video but the paper uh, the fabric is very paper like but then it is insulated material on the inside so I just thought I was looking for something that wasn't too tacky looking and I thought that this is pretty tasteful um, and it's a nice size you can fit quite a bit in there and then on the inside I have this is my Eco Lunchbox. Um, that's the the brand name, um, and I bought it on the Eco Lunchbox website. But you, I've also seen them at natural food co-ops. So I'll show you what that's all about, and then this is my lunch, um, or my whole. I call it my lunch because I eat it on my lunch break. But really, it's going to be more like a dinner. So the Eco Lunchbox is basically, it's all stainless steel, which was one of the things that was really appealing to me about it because stainless steel is known to be a very safe uh, material to store food in and also cook with. So I figured um, that would be perfect. It's also really durable, so you know it's going to last a long time. So it's a double-decker stainless steel box that has these clips on the side. Um, that kind of snap it all together. But if you take, if you open the clasps, it has a bottom layer that you can store food in. That that's my um, spinach and cheese tortellini with tomato basil sauce. That's going to be super yummy. On the top, I have my fruits and vegetables. So this is a pineapple slice. Um, and that I got at Trader Joe's. They just sell it in these tubs that it comes pre-sliced, which is convenient because I don't really see myself slicing a pineapple. So the cool thing about the set is that it comes with this little pod. I can't remember the name of this product in particular, but it, when you buy this, it comes with one of these. And you can, um, it, it'll fit inside, um... I believe it fits on the top compartment, um, but you could probably also put it on the bottom maybe without the lid. Uh, not totally remembering which layer it goes on, but um, you open it up, you can put stuff in there too. If you have like salad dressings um, or a dip, like sometimes if I bring apples and peanut butter, I can put the peanut butter in there. Uh, that's really great. Or um, what else? If you had like yogurt or something, you know, though, I didn't, I wouldn't trust that these are not um, leak proof containers. They're m better for more solid foods uh, that aren't as wet. So it's perfect for what I've got in here today. But if I, if I was doing like soup or something, I would not put it in there because um, it's just fastened together with pressure, really. So what I have in here. I put a couple things in here. I have these really neat, I'll show you the package. Um, it's from Trader Joe's as well. It's called All Fruit Bars Ends in Pieces of Assorted Flavors. And what it is is uh, Trader Joe's you can buy uh, fruit leather um, and this is, these are the scraps from the fruit leather factory. So, you know, they'll cut it all perfectly to have perfectly rectangular bars and these are the scraps. Um, so it's kind of cool because you get uh, surprise flavors. It's all just kind of mixed in there together in their random shapes and sizes. And then I also have, these are sesame whole wheat pretzel nuggets, I believe is what they're called. Those are also from Trader Joe's. And then these are, they're like little goldfish, but they're called cheddar rockets. And those are from Trader Joe's too. So that'll be one of my... Uh, snacks for one of my breaks at work and then um, I like to always eat on my break so that I'm constantly like uh, 
not getting fatigued. Then I've got my um, then I've got my string cheese and my berry applesauce, which those together will be one snack. So, oh, the other thing that I wanted to mention is, is when I bought my Eco Lunchbox, I bought an extra one of these. So I have this set that came with this, and then I also have, this is in my dish rack right now, but I also have another one in case I wanna bring something else um, as well, because these are perfect. Even if I'm not bringing my full lunch, I'm just bringing a snack or something, um, these are perfect for just bringing some pretzels or some trail mix or nuts or fruit or yogurt or whatever. Um, they're perfect. And you know what? You could also store things other than food inside of those. Like if you were traveling and had some bobby pins or hair ties or I don't even know what. Um, the possibilities are really quite wide. I had done really a great amount of research uh, about different lunchbox options out there. There are a lot of really cool styles and this one was the one that I decided was going to be the best for me. Um, and I have been really happy with it. I've had it for, I don't know, maybe about two years or a year and a half now and um really i would i would buy it again if i if i somehow lost it or something i would um definitely it was a purchase that i'm really happy with so i really recommend it for if you're looking for a lunchbox that's made of really uh, safe materials that's, that are durable that's going to last a long time um, and that also, I think, is really tasteful looking um, and really kind of sleek. So I just grabbed my water bottles. I wanted to show you those too because I realized that that is a part of my food storage system for like whenever I'm going out and about or especially I'm going to work. So what I have is I have two bottles and uh, this is the first one that I bought. I bought this probably my senior or junior year of high school. Um, no, I'm pretty sure it was my my senior year. Um, this was, Clean Canteen came out around that time. So I was, I, I was ahead of the trend, right? I bought it before, you know, it was the old school label that's totally worn off. I don't know if you can even like barely see it on there. You know, I actually, um, it's faded a lot, but I also sort of scrubbed it off because I thought that it looked cooler <laughs> without the label. I just like the look of it better, and then there are these cleaning instructions on the back. Um, but basically, Clean Canteen is the original stainless steel water bottle that kind of started the whole trend. I think it's a really great company. Um, my bottle has gotten a little banged up on the bottom just from dropping it on various occasions. It's been on a lot of adventures with me, but it's a solid bottle. You can stick it in the dishwasher. The cap is plastic. Um, if you're concerned about, if you don't want any plastic touching your water, they do have ones that have a stainless steel on the inside, I believe. Um, but this one, I felt the stain, the ones with stainless steel are a bit heavier. I thought this was a bit lighter and easier to work with. And mine came with a loop top cap. I'm sure you guys have seen those. I actually purchased, I, ha I still have the loop top cap, but I purchased the flat cap separately because I thought it was a little sleeker and just, um, I thought it might be nice to have both options. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of like the aesthetics of the flat cap um, and and the uh, loop cap that I bought or the, that came with it originally was the steel cap so I wanted a, something a little lighter and then this is a more recent recent purchase that I purchased within the last year and a half or two years this is called a life factory bottle this is made of glass and it has this really cool silicone sleeve that covers the outside so the silicone sleeve does a couple things. It um, prevents it from 
being so fragile. I know that there are YouTube videos out there showing like drop tests with these bottles. Um, I haven't done any of those because I think they've dropped it on cement. But if you have any if you have any doubts in your mind, um, this company originally started as like baby bottles, and babies are dropping their cups all the time. And um, if they're safe for babies, I feel pretty secure with this. I haven't had any problems with this breaking, um, though I am not dropping it really often. Um, the top is made of plastic. Both of these products, I'm sure the plastic is BPA free, um, if that's a concern for you. Um, it has measurements on it showing how many ounces of water um, are inside or uh, conversely how much water you've drink in. And um, the reason that I really like this bottle is because you can see inside. With this bottle, it's hard to tell, like, is there something in there? You have to, if I have it just kind of like sitting around my room and I don't remember if it's full or not, I have to pick it up and kind of slosh it around. This, um, you, you can see really visually. It's really pretty too if you put like juice on the inside. Um, I got the white color and the white um, has a really like pretty pearlescent finish on it. Um, but they do have other colors as well that have a more matte finish. Um, there are quite a lot of options. Because it does have the silicone sleeve, it's really easy to open it because you have a really good grip. You can get your one hand on here and then one hand on here. And with this one, it's quite slippery. Um, and then with the flat top cap, you don't really have much. Sometimes I even, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll take rubber bands and I'll place them around the outside of the bottle or around the top to make, to give myself a little uh, resistance to grip onto when I'm trying to open it. So anyways, those are my bottles. Uh, I love them a lot. I highly recommend them. Uh, the great thing about them is that they do not pick up odors. So both glass and stainless steel are, like I was talking about, really safe materials to drink out of. Water is a huge one too because if you have a water bottle that's sitting in the sun, sometimes you get that really plasticky taste um, that it's like the sun is kind of baking the plastic into the water. With this, you don't get that. It's just the pure taste of water. I might say that I prefer the like factory bottle a little bit better just for the aesthetics that I was talking about and like the ease of use with opening it and being able to visually see how much is inside. It's also a really cute bottle. All of these items I get a lot of compliments on at work. People are always really curious saying, oh, I love your lunchbox. It looks like, you know, from the olden days when you would bring your lunch in a little tin and then um, everybody always knows. I don't have to put my name on this because people just know that's Kristen's water bottle. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope this information was helpful to you. I really enjoy sharing it. Maybe it's kind of dorky, but um, I think it's fun to talk about things like this and share it with you all because I do spend a lot of time seeking out products that I think are really high quality um, before I make a purchase and I have been really happy with these. Um, and they're also environmentally friendly so that is great to kind of eliminate the use of plastic bags and plastic um, Tupperware that you may have to throw away eventually. So if you have any questions, comment below. If you have any favorite lunch boxes, also comment below. I'd love to um, have some more to check out. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye.